Welcome to another short useful video tutorial. Today I'm teaching you how to use Excel in simple way, let's get started. First is to open your Microsoft Excel, you can also use spreadsheet because it's almost the same just different application. The vertical box are the columns and the horizontal box are the rows. Now let's get familiarized with the column and the row by adding data to the sheet. The letters above highlighted are the columns, and the numbers highlighted from 1 to 10 are the rows. And above the column letters is the column and row location. Now let's add operations to the data. Let's try to do the operations by adding, subtracting, multiplying and dividing numbers from the column 1 to column 2 row 1. You need to call the function equal so you can do the operations. Since we are adding column 1 to column 2, we need to add the location of the two columns, which is C5 and D5. Press enter to add the formula. Let's try another one. Since we are moving to row 6, instead of C5 and D5, we are calling C6 and D6. Whenever you move down to below column, you increase the column number, and whenever move forward to row, you change the letter. Now let's try to subtract the number. Equals then C5 minus sign D5. Let's try another one. Now let's try multiplication. Equals signs then C5 asterisk D5 then press enter. Now let's try division. Now let's add another column and try different ways to do the operations. Is it possible to add more than three columns in a single formula? The answer is yes. Let's try another one. You can also do the advanced function by adding the word sum to the call sign. Example equals sum then parenthesis then drag from C5 to E5 then close parenthesis.
Let's try another one. This is the end of the tutorial of part 1 of the operations, watch for the next video, don't forget to subscribe.